Hi, I'm Roger Waltzman, Chief Medical Officer of Adaptus Therapeutics. We are excited about our groundbreaking investigational treatment, Decoy 20, and one of the biggest opportunities we see with it is its safety profile. Let me break it down. We've treated a small group of patients with Decoy 20, and so far, they've tolerated it exactly as we would both hope and expect. Our patients experience symptoms such as fevers, chills, changes in heart rate and blood pressure, but here's the key. These symptoms all resolved quickly. So how does Decoy 20 work? It stimulates your body's normal immune system. Think of it like this. When you come down with the flu, you might develop a fever, aches and pains, or the chills. That's just your immune system kicking in and your body's normal response to fight something off. That's exactly what we're looking for. Now let's talk safety. Decoy 20 is essentially what we call killed bacteria, which have been engineered so that they cannot replicate in your body or cause an infection. We also take precautions using pre-medications to reduce the chance of any allergic reactions. When patients receive Decoy 20, we monitor them closely in a controlled environment for the first day, and then through regular doctor visits for at least a month. We want to ensure our patient's safety every step of the way. Here's some reassurance. Other FDA-approved treatments use bacterial components in cancer care. We also know it is possible to safely administer a killed bacterial product, such as with inactivated vaccines, which means it's a proven approach, and we're building on that foundation. Looking ahead, we need more patient data to fully understand Decoy 20's safety profile. Our goal? Use Decoy 20 and potentially combine it with other cancer drugs to improve outcomes for those who need it most. In summary, we're pioneering a new era in cancer treatment, and we're hoping you join us on this exciting journey.